aloneness can lessen loneliness. Solitude is insurance against loneliness and is a leader's first line of defense in protecting against loneliness in oneself and ultimately their team. When solitude is done right, it helps to strengthen the connection within ourselves, which in turn equips us to connect more with others. Solitude is a state of being alone without the negative emotions of loneliness. It's peaceful aloneness created by a state of voluntary isolation. Solitude is found by isolating one's mind from the inputs of other minds in order to freely process or ponder. Essentially, you can experience solitude amid a crowded coffee shop if your thinking is self-directed instead of reacting to the outside environment. Solitude provides the necessary margin for leaders to recalibrate, think clearly, prioritize, plan, and recharge. Loneliness will empty a person. Solitude, on the other hand, can fill a person up. The greater the noise, the greater the need for solitude. The demands of life and business today are deafening. That's why solitude doesn't come easy. There is always something more urgent and loud that will steal your attention. You have to fight for it. Some of you will have to get over your fear of being alone with your thoughts. Others will have to abandon the feeling that seeking solitude is selfish. But there isn't anything selfish about rising above the noise, gaining a grander vision of the future, and leading a team to that preferred destination. Pablo Picasso once said, quote, without great solitude, no serious work is possible, end quote. Look for opportunities to be still in order to protect against loneliness. Oh,